Welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday today and it's feeling, oh, I'm just feeling so ready for such a great day. The sun is shining, it is absolutely beautiful outside and I just feel like today's gonna be a great day. Just finishing getting ready and then we're gonna head out. It is only 9.35 so I plan to head out at about 10 o'clock but as you'll see, from the title of this video, why did I decide to start doing lip liner when I was talking to you? That is a skill, I tell you. There we go, it's a little bit easier just doing it and then talking to you. Um, but <laughs> yeah, today we are heading out in a moment and as you can see by the title of this video and the thumbnail, I'm trying to do it again with lip gloss. <laughs> Here we go. As you can see from the thumbnail and title of this vlog, we are going out for Jerry's birthday. Oh my goodness, I am looking forward to this so much. So Jerry was actually three back on the 14th of May and it was just a crazy busy day. It was one of those days, it was a Tuesday. I was taking Nan out, Andy was really busy and we just unfortunately we just couldn't do anything with Jerry he was a little bit neglected that day and just stayed at home so I planned in with my friend Charlie who you would have seen on this channel when we went to P Louise and that she's one of my bestest friends she also has a miniature dachshund as well Lottie who is as we joke Jerry's girlfriend so we messaged and we are overdue a coffee and catch up and play date with the dogs so is it is such a lovely day we are going to be heading into Clifton Village which if you're from Bristol you'll know but Clifton Village is an absolutely beautiful area and we're gonna go get some lunch and we're gonna take the dogs to a place called Dog House. I think this is a branch that's across the UK so you might have one in your area but it's basically like a shop cafe and dog bakery kind of all in one so we're gonna go get Jerry a little cake for his birthday me and Charlie of course are gonna get a coffee and we'll probably do a little bit of shopping up there and then Clifton Village is just full of so many lovely little eating spots and there's this one place that I'm really fancying and I'm hoping Charlie's gonna fancy it it's like um, Middle Eastern food and it's like falafel and they do fish skewers and that's what I really want to try there, like fish of the day skewer because every time I've gone it's been on a Sunday and they don't do it and I love fish. But yes, that is what we are doing today. So I am ready to go. I'm actually ahead of schedule but I've got to go get Jerry ready, get him in the car, cool down the car actually. I might cool my car right now because I feel it's going to be hot in there for Jerry. Without further ado, let's jump in the car. Let's head out on this fine, beautiful, sunny, completely dry day. I think we've got highs of 22, but that was what it was like yesterday and it felt about 30. So I'm gonna go put some um, sun cream on, that's for sure. And let's go to Clifton to get some lunch, enjoy this beautiful day and take the dogs to Dog House. Just before we go actually, here is the little man himself. He's been having a little morning nap. Haven't you? And did you show everyone your balloons for your birthday? Yeah, I got these on Timu. For those of you who watch my Timu videos, you would have seen these a little while ago. I actually got a massive pack of them, but they're huge. They're, this three is massive. As you can see, this giant pot behind all, and Jerry's size comparison. 
But yeah, I got this uh, set. It came with pour balloons and everything. Like I could have made a massive display, but you woke up to this on your morning, didn't you? I am totally aware by the way that this is OTT, but he is my little child. He is my fur baby, so but he gets the VIP treatment and that's very important pup. Very important pup. Are you ready, Jerry? Should we go in the car? We're suited and booted and ready to go. Right, we got a parking spot. Come on then, my man. Let's go to Dog House and we've got little Lottie. Hey, Lottie. Where are you going? We're going to get a cake. Hey. <laughs> got Charlie here who I always shove the camera in her face, bless her. She's always like, hey, me. Hey, me, for goodness sake, you don't tell me these things. But we're going to go get a coffee. We've managed to find a good parking spot and the sun is shining. I think I've said that before, but we're so happy right now. I do need a wee and a coffee though. Jeevy, come on then. Look, we found it. Here we go. Look, they've even got little equa fleeces of sausage dogs. Let's see what this is about. Yeah, do you want some? Oh, there's none in there. Hi. Oh, they got doggy ice cream. <laughs> Jeevy. It's just not gonna work, is it? Try and get a photo up. Do you want some motivation? You like motivation in the form of food. Got all the goodness here, and we got the puppies a cupcake each. Look at this. And then we've got all of the human stuff. And we've got some lovely coffees. We've got Auntie Charlie looking after. Doggos. Doggos, and we just tried to get a little photo up over here, but both of our dogs are not very good at playing ball with photos. Uh, the pop-up cafe was a was an experience, wasn't it? And this is the shop. I love how they've got sausage dog models as well. Oh, right. Puppuccino ordered. Iced coffee ordered. Cupcakes ordered. Happy birthday, little man. Happy birthday. <laughs> this is little Lottie. Lottie. She's like, I just want my cupcake. Do you want to smell it? Oh, do you, want, do you want the cookie? <laughs> you can have it, have it in a minute because there's yours and Jerry's cupcakes. I love the cut little custard creams. That's adorable as well. Such an, oh, look at all the treats they've got in the back. They've got um, refrigerated stuff as well. So yeah, we'll have a look around. We've got a lovely little seat out in the sun in Clifton Village. And the doggos are having their cupcakes now. Jerry, what's this? Oh, Lottie, you got your own. What's this? <gasps> He's like, I'm not sure. I hope you're not not sure because I think that's uh, right three three quid either. three quid worth of cupcake. Lottie. <laughs> so the cupcake is not being eaten currently at the moment. Jerry's a little bit uh, a little bit overstimulated. Whoa. I think. <laughs> oh my god! That oh is awful. my goodness! <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh my god, look at the biscuit on the side. Yeah, of course. What actually are they then? Oh, you said it comes with like beetroot on top. Yeah, it's just beetroot powder on the top because it's just a good botanical in general. And it's just like sprinkling instead of like... Oh my god. That is the fanciest cappuccino I've ever seen. That is amazing. steam it in the coffee machine with ice and just like... Up, as it foams up and gets cold as well, so it's like so cool. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Like it? Lottie's demolished oh, it. No, 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 Lottie, we'll give, <laughs> give Jerry really a chance. Happy. I can't believe this dog. Look, he's literally not touched his puppuccino. Lottie's finished hers and she's eating her cupcake. She's already, she's already edging for Jerry's, but he's being a proper little spoilt. Got a cupcake and a massive puppuccino. To be fair, I wouldn't have bought this cupcake if I knew that that biscuit was on the side. It's huge. Right. You, with your puppuccino that you're not drinking. Little privileged dog. He's had his puppuccino and he's having his cupcake now. Made a massive mess. Look at his dog. <laughs> oh, careful. <laughs> careful. <laughs> <laughs> she likes you after that. <laughs> Best of friends. He won the he won it. Oh, yummy, yummy. I got the doggo some shade. And yeah, pineapple juice. Good shout in it. And we've ordered some lunch. This is saffron. It's so nice. And it's such a nice little street that we're on as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. Food has arrived. And look how delish 
this is. I've had this like three times now. Charlie got the, do you get the falafel wrap? Yeah, that looks delicious. And I love all the coleslaw, yum. And all the dogs are still quite happy. Got a little friend over here too. Lunch is done and we've come to this beautiful shop next door called Anna. It's absolutely stunning. And look at these cookies in the window. I can't, I don't know if you can tell how massively thick they are. Oh my gosh, they do a red velvet one. Might have to get that. Caramelized white chocolate chunk, bueno chocolate cookie, cake batter cookie. Oh my gosh, and then look at the other side. This is actually the macarons and cakes that they do. Absolutely stunning the shop. And look at this for a photo op. Gorge. Actually got normal, oh no, they're cookie sandwiches. They got Snickers and chocolate raspberry, chocolate fudge brownie. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. And all the macarons as well. We are now on the iconic Clifton Suspension Bridge. We've got the doggos. Well, Lottie's not getting walked. Lottie, Lottie's getting chauffeur carried. But look, Jerry's on his slip lead because he's uh, he's needing a bit of control because he's a bit overwhelmed with all the food and all the people. But we are on the Clifton Suspension Bridge over the River Avon. Look at Jerry. Look how high up you are. Gosh, this is a view. There is Bristol. The beautiful, beautiful Bristol. Little Lossie, you're not even being walked. You're a dog, my, la my girl. Princess. Yeah, princess, not a dog. Yeah, have you seen pizza? Oh my goodness, we are pooped. Aren't we, Jerry? We are pooped. Absolutely pooped. <laughs> it's been such a nice day but I can't believe how we literally just plan I said to Charlie I was like well like we can go out but I was like we have to be just a few like a couple of hours or whatever but by the time oh my gosh by the time you get there by the time you park by the time you faffed around you've had a chat and then we went and had a coffee obviously at dog dog house I didn't update you I want to give dog dog house dog house but we went and had a coffee there and jerry did finish his puppuccino he just gets really funny i know i have a few dash and donors that watch me and i'm sure a lot of dogs will be the same but where when he goes into new environments he's just not great like he he gets super overstimulated obviously he's on high alert because he obviously doesn't know who these people are he doesn't know if people are going to attack him he doesn't he just doesn't know the situation but once he sort of settled and he kind of was familiar with the people that were working there he realized there wasn't loads of people coming in he did finish that puppuccino he finished that big biscuit that come with it and he finished his cupcake so he ate loads from there we walked on obviously to saffron saffron was delicious i am still stuffed and it is 4 30. i don't even know what time we had lunch you know when time is just flying absolutely flying these days not just the days but the hours the minutes are going so fast i can't believe when i look at my watch and i i see the time and i just can't believe how much has elapsed yeah it's um it's pretty unbelievable how fast it went but we i don't even know what time we had lunch but we had lunch and then we went for a walk over the suspension bridge and you've seen all of this, but I know I didn't really speak to you. So that was what we did. And as I said, it's now 4.36. On our way home, I stopped in at my nan and granddad's because my mum and dad were there. So I literally just stopped in for 10 minutes. Uh, and now we are on our way home, but I am caught in a lot of traffic. Hence why I am vlogging right now, because I can chat, because it is that time. Everyone's coming. Well, I feel like people finish work literally at four o'clock these days because the roads are always busy from four o'clock. I usually go to the gym in Bristol. I go to Lux on Monday nights, but I am not going back today. I'm not, I just can't. I've driven out of town and I don't want to drive back in. I might go, not might, I know I need to go to my gym. I need to go and do a run or something. But honestly, guys, I am so shattered. I get this a lot. I don't know if anybody knows if this is a thing, if it's, I just don't really know, but the older I've got, the more I feel like, I, I sleep amazing, I sleep absolutely brilliant, I'm in bed these days by like, if, if I have it my way, like 9 o'clock, and I will happily sleep through the night, and I, I do wake up very early these days, my body's clock is sort of set to 6.30, 6.45, 7 max, and I can't do anything about it. When I wake up at that time, I can't get back to sleep. My brain's going of what I'm doing for the day and I just, 
I have to get up, but I do go to bed early, so I get plenty of hours sleep, but I feel like the quality of my sleep is not good. I don't feel like I'm, I tell everybody this when I try and explain it, the only way I can explain it is I feel like I don't store the energy properly. I feel like I put myself on charge, but my battery isn't actually taking all of the energy. But yeah, I spring out of bed and I wake up and I'm really motivated and I have loads of energy and I'm, things like that. But I, I go downhill from about two, three o'clock pretty much every single day I will drop slowly off and like by the evening I am so tired I push myself through to go to the gym and things but it's getting it's getting worse I feel really lethargic all the time and I have a good diet I drink water you know I don't overdo the caffeine so I just have no idea what is going on with me but I feel like it's getting progressively worse but yeah let me know if this is anything that you have come across before or if it's something I should get checked out I really don't know but I could really do with a bit of energy in the afternoons because boy do I drop off anyway I have managed to get through the traffic now so I will talk to you when we get home it's the next day now I forgot to pick up the camera when I came back not gonna lie as I was saying in the car I was shattered <laughs> I made myself a cup of tea I only usually have decaf in the evenings but I made myself full caffeinated tea and biscuits tea laid on the sofa for about 30 minutes and just re-energized. And then I was gonna go to the gym, like I really felt I had to, because we've got our holiday coming. If you have followed me for a while on this channel, you'll know that I went through a massive fitness phase and I've never let it go. I love going, I do actually enjoy going to the gym and I enjoy going to my club and uh, you know, doing spin classes and things. But at the moment I am just zero motivation, just cannot be bothered not even can't be bothered, just don't want to. Like, I find the motivation to go out and walk and to do stuff active, but I just don't want to go and exercise. I'm eating healthy and everything as, as much as I can. Like, it's not an issue, but obviously I go to the gym now not to necessarily like be super skinny and fit. I do it because it makes me feel better and I want to obviously be a bit slimmer. So. Yeah, it's just one of those, it's, it's just a patch. I appreciate the patches. We just gotta go with the feel. We gotta make sure obviously we don't fall off the wagon, but I was just like, do you know what? It's, it's too a nice day yesterday for me to go and drive to my gym and be stuck inside because the gym's quite a dark, you know, space. And I've got beautiful panoramic windows and I'm on the treadmill actually looking out, but it's still quite a dark place. And I was like, I am not gonna drive while it is this sunny and go and run on a treadmill for an hour. like. I want to enjoy this evening. So I kicked myself up and I went actually down to my allotment for a good hour or so. And do you know what? I felt so good for that. It really made me have such a great day. And obviously you're still active. I'm not running, but I'm still active. So it was a lovely, lovely day yesterday. I'm feeling exactly the same today though. So I've woke up and I am going to get a nan today. So I thought I'd carry the vlog on. We're gonna be going to have some lunch. I actually need to book the reservation. I completely forgot I needed to do that. Um, so we're just gonna go to our favorite place, the Ashton. And we're also gonna go out to the shops. This morning before I go get Nan, I'm gonna go, going to go to B&M because I've got to film a come shop with me because they've got so much new summer stuff in and all of the summer furniture and outdoor dining stuff. So I'm gonna go do a whole video on that, which obviously will be live on this channel. But then we're gonna go get Nan. And if she's feeling up to it, we will also drive over to Poundland and I wanna do a Poundland come shop with me video as well because I've gotta get all my content in for while I'm away because we're, I'm away for two weeks. So I, need, I ideally still wanna post three times over those two weeks. And obviously I still need to make the content for the weeks before. So yeah, it's been a juggling game. It really, really has trying to get all this fit in, but it's been, I wouldn't wish it for any other way. I can literally be so flexible and it's awesome. Just wanted to clear up how I finished yesterday, but I didn't vlog. Um, but obviously I had a lovely day with Charlie and the dogs and Charlie was very, very generous and gave me my birthday present early. She wanted me to open it with her, so I opened it. And she knows I'm on a cruelty-free journey. She loves, we both love makeup and stuff. Um, and she knows I'm on a cruelty-free journey, so bless her. She got me stuff from Charlotte Tilbury. And not only that, she also got me from Bath and Body Works because we have a love for Bath and Body Works. If you haven't watched my Manchester vlog, although we go to P. Louise, we also go into Bath and Body Works and we both smell this scent at the beach. I think she might have bought it while we were there. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love that. And it, she went and bought it for me. So actually, you know, I've got no perfume on. I'm gonna put this on again. It is so, 
Oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna get through this whole bottle. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And then this is the shower gel. So yeah, she got me those, which is just amazing. And then a little white company sleeping eye mask. I love a good eye mask. And she was far too generous and I told her this was too much. She's She has no filter. Um, also look at this card, how cute. But she actually got me the um, Hollywood Flawless Filter in foundation. And this is one I was going to buy. I've also got the one that comes in a tube. I've got that as a sample. And I think I'll get that for when I want fuller coverage. But to be honest, I, I don't, like today I'm not wearing any foundation. I just don't really wear a thick foundation anymore. Uh, so yeah, this is the Flawless Filter um, for a Superstar Youth Glow, and this is in number three, Fair. She said she had to obviously just guess, so I'm not actually gonna open those. I'm gonna go to the counter and double check these shades. She then also got me two more products, unbelievably. I know that this is, I don't know, 30 something, nearly 40 quid. And then she got me the contour wand, which is the iconic contour wand that I say about dupes, that they dupe in Primark. Um, and she got me the medium to dark. She said that apparently this is better than the light to medium. So the light to medium is something and nothing. And then she also got me the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand in the shade Spotlight. And it's got a little Tinkerbell on it, look. So cute, it's a Disney collaboration apparently. This will be fine. I know this will be fine because it's a highlighter. Um, so yeah, it just looks like that. I've never had any Charlotte Tilbury full-size products before. So this is too much because I know that these are like 30 quid each. And so it's, this must be a hundred pounds worth of makeup. Um, and she gave me a few samples that they gave her when um, she bought the stuff. So yes, she has been incredibly, incredibly generous. How lucky am I to have a friend like that, honestly. She did not need to do that. Even just going out and having a coffee and stuff is, is just great. So I love that. Um, but yes, so I need to book this table and then we're gonna head out and see where today takes us. It's another absolutely blinder of a day. And I wanna get down my allotment again <laughs> when I come back. I don't wanna go to the gym, but I do need to go do a run. And I think it is supposed to take a bit of a turn today, uh, in this, sorry, tonight. So we will see at what time that is. But yeah, without further ado, it is 9.04. I need to head out to B&M and film, and then I'm gonna go get Nan. Okay, so I'm in B&M. I finished filming the Come Shop With Me, and it is now currently 10.40. So great timing. I've got plenty of time to ponder around. I need to get some boring stuff like shelves for my shed, and I may or may not have picked up a hedgehog house, um, also a bird feeder, stuff like that. I got a little bit carried away with my allotment. Um, I really don't need anything but I really want a hedgehog in my allotment so I bought a hedgehog house I'm not I don't love the design um I think it's a little bit like I don't like all of the little illustrations of the hedgehogs on the bottom but I think I could have fun and really make that a cute little house I want to put a little fake window in and things like that so we will see how I can adapt that and now I'm looking for some kind of like storage for inside my shed it's only a three by a uh, four by six shed so it's not massive so I don't want to like put furniture in there but I do need some kind of storage so I don't know whether to just go for like this or plastic drawers I really don't like plastic drawers I think they're quite meh uh, but obviously it's a shed I don't want to spend like a fortune on it I can't overdo it um, and I do need to get some shelves I think that needs to be my priority first let's look at the shelves oh here we go these are floating shelves I don't want them hmm not exactly what i had in mind right so i'm now gonna just pop in the range because i think that they're gonna have the better versions for shelves because i don't want anything posh i just need some basic lightweight wooden shelves or even just some brackets i might go to b and q if they haven't got anything here i had a quick look online and it looks like they have so let's try and find it Oh my goodness, one of you sent me this on Instagram and said I need it. I feel like I actually do. This is so cute. It's a dashand on all of the designer books. $14.99 for this, but it is quite big. I wish I had somewhere for this to go because it is adorable. So the range was a fail. I found the shelves in the end after walking around for what felt like 20 minutes. And they didn't have the ones I wanted that I seen online. So I had to do a click and collect, which I basically stood in the shelf aisle and did and now I have to go get Nan and I'll have to pick them up later because I just there was no stock of them in there and yet it said online there was stock uh so yeah anyway successful 
successful hour or so with B&M come shop with me and going into the range I ended up getting the hedgehog house and stuff I'll show you what I got well I'll show you in the B&M video to be honest um it will be a haul at the end but I'm really excited about my little hedgehog house that's one of the things I got right I'm gonna go get Nan oh, I need to put that aircon on it is so warm it's actually my birthday this weekend my mum's just texted me I need to give her a call back because everyone's wondering what we're doing for the weekend I want zero stress this birthday like I really wanted to do something in our garden, but I've not had a chance to put all of our crap, quite frankly, which is all the Christmas decorations and Andy's car parts that he's done, modified, changed. It's all in the garage. And if you are new around here, our garage isn't a garage, it's a room. When we bought our house, we converted it into a room and it's just become a dumping ground. Hence why we got our loft boarded. We've got tons of storage up there. It's just a case of finding the time to actually go through the stuff in the garage, carry it all through the house, upstairs, and then putting it in the loft. And it's probably something I have to do on my own because Andy's just not, well, if I asked him, he's, he's probably too busy because we're going away on holiday. So it's not a priority to him. Um, and I just don't really want people around our house if the garage is in that state because our drinks fridge is in there so people have to go in and I'm just so embarrassed about it so it is all just Christmas decorations and things like that we did a massive tip run yesterday or the day before and that feels so good to get rid of so much junk like when we get furniture delivered and massive bits of polystyrene Andy had an old broken desk chair like we just pile it up in there until it gets big enough and then we do a tip run anyway I need a wee and we'll go get Nan and I made that reservation for 12 o'clock so it's currently 11 20 perfect timing go there probably have a cup of tea and then head out and like I said I'm not sure where we're going I want to go into home bargains and possibly like I said over to Poundland to do some more filming for another video We'll see where the day takes us. Right, we've arrived and hello! <laughs> Nan, I got you a present. From the allotment. Oh, my rhubarb. More rhubarb. Oh, thank you. But you're, that's the last of it, I think. It's still growing, but you'll have to... Um, I've cut it all back, so you can freeze that if you want, because I know you might not use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So clear it tomorrow. How are you, Marjorie? Yes, all good, all good. Okay, so just before lunch, what's that? Bag. Get a pound, get a yeah, pound. yeah, yeah, I got a pound. We've come to Home Bargains just before okay. lunch. Yep, it's all locked. And we're gonna get some bits and bobs because it's not open yet. But look at Nan, looking so fancy in her sunglasses. Wow. It's such a beautiful day today. Okay, so here's where we buy stuff that we don't need. They've got this back in stock. This literally, they've been so slow on the ball to get these back in stores. And obviously since then, Poundland's taken over. But, oh, I do like these cakes. This will be like the fourth time I've bought these, which is not great, but Andy loves them as well. Yeah, right, nice. food is ordered, coffee, Nan's got a shandy. Look at you and your sunglasses, you look brilliant. And we've got a outdoor spot, perfectly tucked in the corner here. We're usually sat in there. But look how beautiful this is. You can't be inside on a day like today. And it's got such a nice terrace. I said actually last time we were here how oops, how I'm so looking forward to sitting outside. And look, we are so outside. Yay, I'm so happy. Oh, I've got this little lens for my camera. I want to try it, hang on. Does that make any difference? I like. Oh, it's a little bit more wide, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> right, so we've been to Home Bargains and got a few bits that she needed, so did I. And then after this, I think we're heading over to the other side of town and we're going to go to Poundland so I can do one more video and we can have a look over there because they've also got the range over there. Um, and I forget what shops they've got in Avonmeads now. Oh, they've got an, like an Iceland. Oh no, they've got a Lidl, haven't they? Mm. Yeah, I need, to get, I need to get some like milk in Lidl, so that will be handy. There's birds are singing as well. And it's just so nice to sit in like an open field like this. Yeah, they, yeah, what's the name? They know what name when you get. Pata X, her husband. And they tell you we've got a cancer. Course number one is here salt and chili squid. Yum. We got the same. We both love squid. <laughs> Nan got her fish and chips come. That looks Bloody absolutely yeah, look delicious. And I got the king prawn tempura sandwich. This is supposed to be sourdough, but it's focaccia by the looks of it, but I'm not complaining at that. I had this before. 
and it's so yummy. Um, not the healthiest in the world, but apparently this is only under 700 calories, so I will take that. And yeah, can't get over this setting, feeling very, 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 very lucky. I told him he's gonna go for a walk and he, uh, he went and crawled in the bag. <laughs> We're gonna go for a walkie! He's like, he's like, no, 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 I'll hide in the back. <laughs> so I've just finished editing this video. That clip of Jerry is so funny. He doesn't actually like walks. Like if you say we're going for walkies, he literally hides anywhere he can. <laughs> But he actually enjoys when he's on a walk. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this vlog because it has been half an hour long, but it's been great fun. If you've made it all the way to this point, leave me a hearts hand emoji down below. Also, if you've made it this far, then you get to hear some exclusive news. If you follow the vlogs, you'll know in the last vlogs, there was a few, there was a thing that I was like, I can't tell you what uh, this is, but something exciting is happening soon. Well, set your alarms for 7 p.m. on Wednesday. Be free and be at home. I'm going to be making the announcement on Wednesday. Follow me over on Instagram for the reveal of what it is, because you guys, it's so exciting. And if you're like me and you're a big fan, which you, if you're like me, you've probably subscribed if you like all of the bargain shops, home bargains, Poundland, things like that, then this is 100% going to be applicable to you. Over on Instagram for the exclusive Wednesday, I will be posting it live. And yes, I can't wait for you all to see it. I can't wait to see it. Let's just say I'm going to be on another device in your home. I am gonna leave it here though. I'm gonna leave some videos in the screen also if you wanna spend some more time with me because I'd love to spend some more time with you. And I will see you all in my next video on Thursday. Ciao.